Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and today we're going to explore the world of foiling very briefly. It's kind of the cliff notes of foiling. First, we can start with heat using a laminator. There are several ways to do this. One way is to take transfer sheets. These are just nothing but toner sheets, and you can cut all those little die cuts out of it, add your foil to the top, but well, first we crinkle it because it gives it kind of a fun effect. And then we spread it back out on the die cut. And you're gonna put it in a carrier sheet. I'm just using some folded over copy paper and run it through a hot laminator or mink. Um, I don't always remember to let mine heat all the way up, but, and you wanna use the heat foil and look, and look how cool it is with that putting that wrinkle in there. It just makes it better than a flat, you know, blah thing. And you can also layer colors on top of each other. And that's really cool. Next kind is using a toner pen. It's the same kind of stuff that's in a toner copier, only in liquid form. And it's great for getting into little small places where you just want to do a, a bit of an accent and you have a lot of control. I really like this, and I like it a lot better than the uh, foiling pens that you'll see later. So you just put it on and let it dry, and you get out your laminator. Make sure it's got the green light on, which I don't always do. We'll see an instance of that at the end. Uh, as you can see, the green light's not on, so it's not at full heat. You really have to let these heat up but that's my bad. And then you just pull off this. Well, and I kind of like to burnish it a little, but I don't really think it matters. And there you go. Isn't that beautiful? And it really doesn't take any talent. The next product is liquid toner ink. Now, I have a video that I will link below where I get this and the stamping kit and I stamp with it. And maybe you'll have better luck than me, but for me, it was not great. Um, now there are two kinds of transfer gel. The old way used to be heat only, but the new transfer gel duo will not only let you run something through the laminator, but you can also just use pressure from your die cutting machine. So you don't even need a laminator which, you know, that's one less thing sitting on your table in your craft room, let's face it. You just put a thin layer, I'm just doing it on a stencil, and you want to really make sure that it's a nice, thin, even layer, and you're going to set that aside to dry. It'll dry tacky, and it's dry now. Just place your foil on it like you would any other way. And I'm just going to take it off the side and run it through my old uh, die cutting machine. And I mean, mine's a Sizzix uh, Big Kick. It's really old. But if it's not broke, don't fix it. Look how gorgeous. There's a raised little spot and that foil just really shows well. Then there are toner sheets that already have the decorations on them. And this is another instance where I didn't have my laminator hot enough, but you get the idea. You just run it through and anywhere there's toner, you can put your color and the dots you can use on another project. I don't throw anything away. Next up, you can use just a regular laser printer and print out things that you want to be foiled later. I was making some labels for some candy for um, my daughter and son-in-law's wedding. And I'm just going to run it through my, once again, not fully heated laminator. It must take quite a while for this laminator. Anyway, you'll just run it through and then pull off the top. And I staggered the next set so I wouldn't waste any of the foil in between. Here are the candy bars. Now, I didn't add adhesive to the back of that little Zach and Audra square till after I ran it through the laminator because I was just going to, I was just going to put adhesive on all of it to start with before the die cutting and I got chicken. I wasn't 
sure how that would work. The way that Gina K has um, made the foiling easier without the toner, so it's kind of without the mess. It's pretty cool. Um, they're called polyglaze foiling sheets, and I can't wait to try them. Next up, we have it's it's not new, but it's a whole lot newer hot foil machine. Um, and the hot foil plates go through either uh, this Gemini has they have one, and uh, Spellbinders has one that goes with their Platinum 6. And I'm not going to show you the whole details on how to use it, but I will link a video below where I do show you how to use it. Right here I'm using a real, just a regular die that you would die cut and not a plate. And to show you that it can give you a, a fine result, not the big thick kind of result, but you can use those as well and it's perfectly beautiful. Now this is from one of the foil plates. Uh, I believe that's Pink Fresh Studios. And here is uh, a card that I made with it. This came with the Gemini kit, the frame. And then you can also use the pre-done best wishes. The other sentiment that they have, Pink Fresh has a whole big bag of them, pretty much for any, uh, any occasion. Then, card that I use just die cutting foil cardstock. The heart earlier also featured the cardstock. You know, so that's the easiest way of all to add foil. And this foiling was done with the plate that's just the plain flat plate. And this would be the reverse of the earlier uh, foiled impression that we made which is right here and it's also I believe from Pink Fresh Studios or, or Spellbinders, golly, can't remember. Um, but that flat plate is awesome, that way you don't have any waste whatsoever. And here's a little mini slimline card. If you have one of your foils that, you know, doesn't always work out, and there's the reverse to the one I just picked up. So see, I didn't waste any of the foil. But that plate is just a solid plate. It is really cute. And if you have a boogered up place on the foil, say it didn't come out perfect, at least you know you can cut it up and use it. And here's one more example of just using foil cardstock and die cutting it. And it, that's the easiest way ever. It takes zero um, extra equipment. Now, foil pens. I kind of am iffy on these, but I did want to include them. Hot foil pens, I've had them. And the one thing I didn't like was you couldn't really see what you were writing on. But there are two types, the ones that you just have by hand, and then the other one, which is part of a scan and cut. Uh, and it'll just do its thing for you, and then you don't really have to worry about positioning. But I wanted to throw those in. And then the other way to do it is through adhesives. That's really low tech and easy to do several different ways. This first method is just taking some double-sided adhesives and putting these little foil flakes and I contain it in a box because trust me, they go everywhere. Make sure you don't have a fan on, don't breathe and just put these little gilding flakes and they're all kinds of them. Uh, those are Cosmic Shimmer, but they're also by uh, Tonic. And just smooth everything in the box. I took a bone folder to it too, just for fun. Then run it through your die cutter. I did it with the flowers. I did it with the word hugs. And it makes a gorgeous card. And also I added the foil paper, the easy peasy. The next kind is rub on to damp alcohol ink. Not all ink is going to do this, but alcohol ink. So I just wanted to show you, you uh, just put some color down and blow it around and make whatever pleases you, but make sure that it's not completely dry. Uh, it needs to have just a, a sticky finish. And you're going to use the ThermoWeb foil, not hot foil plate type foil. And you just run your scraps over it and just take your finger or a bone fold or whatever and quickly just lay down the color. And I like how the design even will transfer. Just keep going at it until you get 
what you like. And of course, you could add more alcohol ink if there was a spot you really wanted to cover and it was too dry. But here is the final, you know, I love this so much, I didn't want to cut it up. Come to think of it, I don't think I ever did. I think it's still in my background pile. I hope you enjoyed this fast foray into foiling and that you will like and subscribe. Supplies are linked below. I appreciate it when you use them. Follow me on all the social media and here are some more videos. Until next time, bye-bye.